Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Toby and in today's video I'm going to be doing a bit of a beauty blender, well not a bit, I'm going to be doing a beauty blender slash brush comparison and I've never done anything like this on my channel before, I've never done any sort of comparison that I can remember. So pretty much I'm going to be taking three beauty blenders and I'm using this one for my foundation and concealer this one for my contour here and stuff like that like cream contour and this one for my nose contour and then i have the equivalent of brushes so i have one for foundation one for concealer one for cream contour and one for my nose contour so like a more precise one so products i'm going to be using are so for concealer and contour i'm going to be taking la girl pro conceal in um porcelain and the la girl pro conceal in Fawn. So I'm going to be doing these, obviously they are both liquid, so at the end of this I'm going to be taking my <laughs> tissues and seeing how much product I can get off each of them. All of them are like new, like freshly cleaned, and these ones I've never actually used before, the Black Beauty Blenders. So we will see how they go. I'm also using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in 120, I don't know what that means. Um, just because I thought it would be easier to get like a precise, like put three here and three here so you know that there's the same on each side sort of thing. And I'll also be taking my Colourpop, um, sculpting stick in the shade Dove. So, yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to see like which one would take more product and stuff. I kind of am leaning towards it might be the Beauty Blender just because they are sponges and they literally, like sponges are literally designed to absorb things. So I feel like it might be that, but I guess you never know. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. I've already primed my face, so I'm just going to go straight in with my foundation. This side can be beauty blender, this side can be brush, let's hope I don't forget which side is which. Now I'm moving on to some concealer. Now I'm just going, I just used that end with my foundation. So now I'm going to go in and use the top part for my concealer. Going in with another brush and doing the same on the other side, obviously. I'm not too sure what I prefer. I really like the way that the Beauty Blender does with my concealer. It blends in just really nicely and I find like with the brush it's a bit harder when you get like under the eye. But yeah, I'm not sure. Now on to a cream contour. I'm going to be putting this under my cheekbones and on my forehead and up my temples. I don't put, oh my god, I put so much on that side. I don't put this one down my nose just because I feel like the colour is very strong. A bit too strong for, like, I don't know. I feel like it is too much for the nose. I'm going to be taking this one to blend out this side. I've never actually used a beauty blender for contour before. to brush then I'm going to be taking my sculpting stick and putting this down my nose I guess I honestly don't even know which one looks better. I don't know. 
Okay, so that is it for like the application process. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back to do my little tissue test. Okay, so I just finished all my makeup and now I've got my tissues and let's just start. I think I'm gonna start with the beauty blenders. So I've got my tissue and I'm just gonna like squeeze out as much as I can, I guess. Okay, results are in. So it's really hard to tell actually. I feel like it looks like it's a beauty blender one because it's not as neat as how I did the brush one but like this is the difference like you can see it's a little it's just, I've done them in spots because obviously I was trying to get it out. I decided not to wet it just because I feel like a lot of it would kind of go down the sink so it would kind of be inaccurate. Then I would have to wet the brushes so I'm opting out of that but I honestly feel like more came out of the brush. It was really hard to get anything out of the beauty blender. Like, I feel like more came out of the brush. And it is still very hard to see. Keep in mind, I have very pale skin. It doesn't look like it now because I am tanning, but like, concealer is super light and stuff, but this is that one. This is the brush. And this is the beauty blender. It looks like there's more in the beauty blender because there's like a spot like right here and it's just like intense, but I don't know. I feel like honestly, the brush had more product come out of it so like yeah i feel like i've done a pretty good job like it doesn't look like there's foundation or anything still in the brushes so i honestly think i'm gonna have to go with the brush you guys can make your own choice in the in the comments let me know what you think and let me know which one you thought but i honestly think more came out of the brushes